Four years ago, I didn't think it was possible to get out of my addiction. Um, it had taken me to a place that I didn't think I could recover from, and I really just thought that that was going to be the way that my life would end. Through the grace of God, I ended up being able to have an opportunity to go to treatment and stayed inpatient and got some great therapeutic care. After leaving treatment, um, I spent the first couple of months putting my life back together, um, getting a job, getting involved in um, therapy and 12-step programs, and, and really felt like I was starting to become the person that I had been before my addiction took over. Um, I did okay for a little while. Um, and gratefully didn't experience a relapse, but I did end up getting pregnant. But at the same time, I was very scared because I wasn't expecting it. I didn't know if I was prepared to handle that degree of um, emotion and just stress and responsibility that early in my recovery, um, and I was scared of going backwards. I didn't know who to reach out to or what to do um, because I knew that I wasn't able to save for a healthy living environment for myself and the baby and pay for therapy at the same time. So even though I felt like I needed the support of a therapist to guide me through my pregnancy, for the first several months of my pregnancy, I didn't go. Not going to therapy resulted in a lot of my old PTSD symptoms from my life and addiction coming back. So my anxiety got really bad. Um, I became really nervous leaving my house, going out into groups of people. Um, I was having panic attacks. Um, I was feeling really scared at night, um, alone in my house. I was having a lot of like strong memories of the traumatic experiences that I had when I was homeless um, that were resurfacing more than they had been um, before in my sobriety up to that point. And, you know, at six months pregnant with all of the normal emotions of a pregnancy on top of um, the scary memories of my addiction coming back and all of the anxiety, um, I just really felt lost and, and scared about what direction things were going to go and how I was going to provide a stable environment for my own recovery and um, be a mother to, to my daughter as well. Thankfully, I was introduced to Heart, and it was really just a godsend for me. Um, I don't know any other way in which I would have been able to get myself back to therapy, and I just, I was so grateful for the opportunity to be able to get plugged back in, you know, with my therapist. So I went back right away um, to the woman that I'd been seeing before and immediately felt so much relief. The help that I got through Heart enabled me to enjoy the last few months of my pregnancy and spend them, you know, getting the nursery ready and um, getting myself ready to be a mom rather than in fear. Now that my daughter has gotten a little bit older, um, I've been able to be blessed with a job working in the recovery field. Um, I get to help support new women that are coming into their own recovery and um, leaving their addictions behind. In doing that work, um, one of the greatest things that I've been able to witness is the impact that Heart has on a lot of these women's lives. Like myself, a lot of these women wouldn't be able to continue their story and their growth um, without Heart. And that can look like going to treatment, sober living, getting counseling in the early days of their recovery. There's just so much need and all of those are such expensive undertakings for somebody coming in. Donations to Heart really do have the power to save lives. Um, I know that the donations that enabled me to receive assistance from Heart definitely have made a huge impact.